Hi guys, welcome back. So in this video, I want to talk about the most uh, important supplements what which you should have when you are working out or you want to build some muscle. Like there are a lot of supplements out there, but these four, which I think one must or should have in its uh, list of supplements if you want to build some muscle uh, and you are working out pretty hard in the gym. Definitely, first of all, is uh, your protein powder it could be any protein powder if you're vegan you can choose for vegan options or if you are uh, like if you're okay with the animal products then definitely whey protein whey protein is the best one because it dissolves in blood pretty fast and uh, it gives you that benefit what you're looking for always in a very quick manner so first of all your whey protein or any protein powder and second is BCAAs so BCAs some of the people say that there are already BCAs which are there in your uh, uh, definitely are there in your uh, uh, protein powder like a lot of like BCAs are the part of your protein powder already but I feel like the ascent there are nine essential amino acids and out of those nine leucine isoleucine and uh, valine they are like they are really important one definitely should have uh, apart from uh, your protein powder because leucine is one of the major components which helps in protein synthesis so I definitely recommend you should take a free this is like free form amino acid this is not so the amino acids which are there in your protein powder they are all bound together in a chain but obviously the protein powder which is you get from BCAs or EAs these are just the free form amino acids and I definitely recommend you take free from amino acids because they do help in protein synthesis and they definitely help you in recovery and give you a lot of energy and like lean mass so you're looking for some lean mass you don't want to pick up a lot of fat so because there is a little bit not too much but a little bit carbs in your protein powder but uh, sometimes you want to restrict the carbs if you're in a cutting phase but you still need uh, protein to like amino acids to pick up those muscles or build those muscles so I will 100% recommend have uh, BCAs in add BCAs in your diet or in your list of supplements and then the third one is obviously creatine creatine is the most safest and uh, most studied and researched uh, supplement uh, it has lots of benefits uh, if you are a diabetic patient if you are going through some other disease then definitely creatine helps you you get creatine from your diet like well, whatever food you eat but uh, that's not enough that's why you need to load yourself if you're working out then you need to load yourself with the creatine so if taken in the right amount right quantity it does not do any harm because the safest form of supplement supplement so one should definitely have creatine which is like five grams every day don't worry about uh, loading phase where you just load yourself with 20 grams initially but just take five grams every day then drink a lot of water, water with it, plenty of water with it, but it's really safe if you take just five grams every day. And then on top of that, one should have is caffeine. Caffeine is really good. Like if you want to lose fat, it gives you. So what caffeine does, it increases the, definitely increases the production of epinephrine, which is your, adre, so your adrenal gland or adrenaline in your body or in your blood. And what this uh, epinephrine or adrenaline does is definitely it provides your mitochondria. So mitochondria is the powerhouse of your body. So whatever energy you use, so the food gets digested in mitochondria and it produces ATPs. So those ATPs are your energy source. So that's what creatine does. It provides those, ex it uh, helps in the production of ATPs, first of all. And then what, uh, mitochondria does it produces those ATP so now when you take a, so a mitochondria need food so either it will use glycogen or if it will use definitely fatty acid for production of those ATPs so we do not want to use too much glycogen because uh, if there is not enough glycogen in your body it, the body will start breaking the muscle so, but we want to build muscle, we don't want to break muscle. And if you are in a calorie restricted diet because you're shredding also, so you want to definitely keep your uh, 
reserves of uh, glycogen high so you need a, a fatty acid and definitely if you're doing intermittent fasting then you don't want to break those muscles if you're doing workout empty stomach so what uh, caffeine says so a lot of your pre all of your pre-workouts have uh, most of them have caffeine in it so what caffeine does it not only gives you that rush because that adrenaline adrenaline rush in your body but definitely on top of that it provides fatty acid for usage so the fat what you have stored so mitochondria should start using this fat and then uh, definitely you need to cut down on the fat so that you have some great shredding and you know you get down to your lower body fat percentage so that's what the uh, caffeine pill does it make those fatty acids so it changes fat into fatty acid and that fatty acid is used by mitochondria for production of energy so instead of using glycogen mitochondria now use fats so that's what you want you want to burn fat so it will use fat for production of energy so caffeine pill so i think and so and in the morning if you're doing a workout in the morning empty stomach then uh, the cortisol level is really high in the, uh, early in the morning I do early morning workout so cortisol level is really high because cortisol is the hormone produced by your body when you want it wants to wake you up from the sleep so if the high high level of cortisol definitely will uh, restrict your it's a fatigue hormone it will restrict your definitely will restrict your uh, you know uh, capacity or potential which with which you can work in a, in a, during your workout or it will surely affect your performance but with caffeine pill you get that you can uh, reduce the, uh, the effect of cortisol and the perform because it gives you that rush because that's why people take caffeine in the morning it gives you that rush and you can do a workout you can have a black coffee or you can just take a caffeine pill and definitely it will increase the production of adrenaline in your body and uh, with the increased production of adrenaline you can do more work without even taking extra calories so that's the purpose of uh, uh, caffeine so four more supplements four supplements which are highly important so protein powder i take two scoops uh, in a day uh, uh, first during my workout i used to take three but because of shredding phase i would reduce it to two so during my workout and after my after my workout and then definitely i take bcas bcas i take three scoops with my during workout after workout and in the evening uh, before going to bed i don't take protein powder in the night because that's it has carbs in it i do not want to have a lot of carbs so that we the, it activates the insulin response and you have to then it stores fat so i take only bcas before sleeping so it will reduce the breakdown of muscle in the body and help in uh, help in synthesis of muscles that's what you want and then uh, on top of that creatine i take 5 grams every day and then apart from that caffeine pill i take early morning before my workout empty stomach i take caffeine pill and definitely gives me boost to do my do my workout these are the four most basic you should have in your uh, diet but definitely there is a lot of options out there glutamine you can have glutamine you can have pre workout also and then a lot of uh, lot of other things like chromium magnesium zinc products or uh, like your beta amino acids uh, like beta vitamins so there are a lot of supplements out there but these four which i definitely recommend you should have in your diet hopefully uh, you like the video please subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you soon for our next video thank you so much